And now if that viewport changes and I regen, that text is going to update automatically. So if we unlock our viewport, change the scale to something like 330 seconds, you can see it's zoomed in. Now when I type in regen, this text down here has automatically updated. Now I can undo that and go back and you can see it's gone back to the 1 16th. Now, before I let you go, I'm gonna show you one more cool trick and that is using a block counter and inserting it into a piece of text. Now, if we go into our viewport here, we're going to lock it to make sure I don't accidentally move it around and I type in count. This is going to allow me to count blocks within the drawing. It's going to ask for the current area if you'd like to only count blocks within a specific area. So I'm actually going to just select the area of the floor plan. You can use the entire drawing, but you do run the risk of counting blocks that are outside of your area that you may be interested in if you have copies off in model space. If I hit enter now, it's going to bring up the count of all of the blocks within that area. You can select them to see each one highlighted. So this type of desk, desk three, doors, um, keyboards, sofas. Uh, in our case, we're gonna pull the count of this style of chair, chair seven. So if I right click, I can simply insert the count field. Now, one thing to note is this is going to put it into the model space, which is not a big deal, but it is the default and it only kind of allows you to do that. But I'm going to show you a trick to add this to any piece of text or table or whatever you've got uh, within your drawing. So I'm just going to place it over here. I've clicked and it's now been placed in my drawing here. You can see it's quite small, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to now double click now that I've got this field. I can double click and I'm just going to select the field. You can see by double clicking on the field, the actual expression or code to create this uh, count. You can copy this and I'll show you where you can insert it later on into any other piece of text or table. And then all you need to do is change up the name of the block and it'll add a new count for that block type.